said this before and someone agreed with me last week. Like there's just something about Carl because I feel Carl, I feel Carl is, I know the type that it's like you love bomb someone. And then after you love bomb them, you figure out your own emotions after they're all in. I really don't, for me, I'm not defending him, think that Tom Sandoval, even though it just, all these facts are not good for him, I just don't get that vibe from him. I just get the fact that he's like, in in Hollywood, man, with the nail polish, and like, I don't know, I just, something bothers me about Radke more and the Southern Charm Boys than Sandy and, and Schwartzy and Kennedy. I don't know why. I What's find so it. hot? I love Schwartz. Um, and yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Talk no, you, you were just going to say you, oh, should we talk about Raquel's podcast, which leads us to Nini and Bethany? Cause people are not happy with you and me with Nini and Bethany. Yes. But I want this to be the least amount. I want to stop giving Bethany any press at it. all. No, no any press, Bethany. So make this one quick. Cause I'm much more interested in the Brielle Bierman pregnancy right. on bravo.com. Uh, you know, Kim Zolciak's, uh, what is the, her I- podcast called going rogue with Rachel. Yes. Going. All right. Well, it's going to be produced by Bethany. Sarah and I have said many times that we should start a podcast network and many times that we should produce other podcasts and we could start a podcast network and we could produce other podcasts and we could actually make money off it. I don't got the time of the day for that. Cause that's a whole headache. I don't want, um, I think it's a good match in the sense that here, Bethany, you do. This is somebody that you can manipulate and and pull the strings and, you know, I'm Rachel. You know, hello. What should I say, Bethany? And okay, my arm is going up because Bethany said to and I'm turning to the it's no disrespect to Rachel. I love Rachel Levis. But, you know, I think Bethany has, has, she's, she's, she's tingling. She's tingling that Frankel because this is someone that she can control. Someone she feels she's smarter than someone she feels she's more successful than and have at it. I just want to caution Bethany that a scandal and a scandal and, and everything does not make a podcast. That's all I'm saying that episode seven and episode 37, we're not going to be listening because of the scandal. We're going to be listening for the big picture. So I hope Bethany has a plan for her doughy eyed Rachel Levis of what is going to be talked about here. And it could be great. It could be justice for Levis, but a scandal does not keep a podcast going for years. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, the only other thing I'll say about that well, is everyone's yes. Okay. Something? Well, I mean, we uh, obviously we called it that she was going to launch a we, uh, yes, podcast we network. Did. Oh, yes. Now I'm, I'm sure she's saying Bethany is saying like, she, well, I've already have a network because I have Rewives and Jess B. Is that it or something? Um, yeah, all that shit. And I don't know if she has a third one, but anyhow, I think so there's, there's like, a third baby. Okay, so this is the fourth one in Re-rants, the rant. I think there's a re rant where she does little 10 minute episodes. <laughs> Hashtag who, stay who tuned. Came up with that. Hashtag yeah, yeah. stay tuned, people. Guess what? That's well, that's all we'll say about that for now. Okay, go on. Um, so you know, I, this is like she she has a network now. We called it when she did that picture at the um at the Bel Air Hotel. With Melissa you know, Rivers. We knew that was coming, right? Um, I don't think anyone's gonna listen. To be honest, I really don't. I I just I like I. I like Rachel. I want you and I, you and I have been trying to get her on. I would love I like to sit down interview. We have defended Rachel from the start. Like the hate was like unbelievable for this woman. Rachel and her mom seem to love Bethany. I hope it's a great choice. I, I hope it is a great choice, but um, I don't know. I just, I feel like it's, I just, I, look, this is all I will say. Cause you guys already know my opinion on Bethany, but name a person that Bethany has helped make successful aside from herself silence Dead i silence. mean right i mean tell me a brand a person she's blown up um you now she's gonna say oh um and you know I, I somebody called her out about her charity recently and she goes oh i never said it was a charity i never said it um you led everybody to believe in that warehouse and everywhere else that beast this was your be strong it ain't yours sweetie you know it's uh, I get to affiliate myself with a charity and then get the naming rights to basically go around to their warehouses and go, oh, here's everything I've done. Here's 
I, just, I, I see it, the I don't people think coming for Sarah Fraser out care. of my left eye. I, I, don't I see care. that. I, I, like, I don't give a shit anymore. I'm sorry. I, you I shouldn't. Don't I, I, I don't give a shit at all. You just can't. You got to, I mean, who cares? And, and, you know, you get messages of people, Sarah needs to do more research. Uh, debate me. Slide in my DMs. Tell me everything about Bethany that I have completely. Many of you came for me with the whole Be Strong when I played that video from TikTok that was basically how she has just bought the naming rights to collaborate with another longtime charity. And everybody said they knew that, that, oh, you're, you know, you're so behind, Sarah. Everybody knew this. I go back and look at the videos and I think she is, Bethany is very clever with her wording, um, but Be Strong is not a charity. It's just an affiliate link for well, another charity. Guess what? They're also coming for us. So we reported last week, Nini is scrubbed of Bethany. Uh, we pulled up that Mr. King's chat with Nini is still on there. Well, everyone is saying, because it went you know viral that, you know, whatever, that... Um, Nini. So then Bethany is issuing the like reissuing these chats with Nini. Also, so everyone's like, there's these new chats. They were reissued. Then she's making these statements. Everything with Nini is fine. Listen to me. Todd Chrisley says that he deserved to wear Gucci and that's why he stole things. And now he's in jail. Jen Shaw said that it was her Lord's work to steal from our friend Penny Puckett. Apparently, OJ says he didn't do it. He says he's an innocent man and didn't kill these two Wrote a people. book. Wrote a Wrote book a about book. it. OJ's. If I had done it. And I'm in New York today, That's so guess innocent. why? There's there's a bridge over there. They call it the Brooklyn Bridge, and I'm going to sell you a piece of it. So just because, I mean, you can slip into my DMs all day just because Bethany, otherwise known as Bethany Frankel, says that everything is fine with her and Nini. You and Sarah are wrong because Bethany says, well, again, O.J. Simpson says that he's an innocent man. So you, just because someone says something, does not mean anything. So I will stand by and die on my sword that things are not okay between Bethany and Nene Leakes, who has scrubbed her Instagram of the woman. Correct? And by I, the I, way, I'm with Real you. Housewives of Dubai is not filming right now. Cynthia Bailey... The, the, the Nini, there's uh, what filming is taking place for what Bravo show? So, cue the racism, and they say all this shit about us, and we have every right to say that Nini is just full of shit. Bethany is full of shit. They're both full of shit. There's nothing is filming. I don't think Nini's headed back to RHOA, and Bethany can say all day that everything is just fine between her and Nini. I do not buy it. It's in her best Here. interest. I mean, it's in her. Why would Bethany come out and go, oh, yeah, we had a falling out when she's come after the network? She's torched all her bridges at Bravo. Um, here's my prediction of what happened. I think she tried to do a deal with Nini to do a podcast, like to produce Nini's podcast. And I think after Nini did this, Nini.